Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're talking about friendship. Plutonic. Plutonic friendship. Partnerships. We're talking about, we're talking about partnership in a game. We're talking about cooperative games. We're talking about working together. Yeah, because you're going to need to work together to beat these games that we have here on these pieces of paper. And my iPhone. <laughs> 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 that, so, look... These are some of my favorite games. I actually love co-op. Me too. I love co-op. Uh, you shouldn't have to hear that for me. You know this. Yeah. I just I think it's low key. It's it's probably one of my favorite styles of game. Yeah. Is working together Absolutely. instead of being competitive. Absolutely. I I love it. Same. And uh, what better way to start it with me with my honorable mention? And uh, it, it's it's cheating. It's literally uh, any Konami game for Super Nintendo. So I'm talking about Sunset Riders, <laughs> Ninja Contra Turtles 3, Alien 4, Wars. Yeah, Contra 3. These are all games that you want to play with a friend because you want to share that experience of beating this fucking game with somebody. Yeah. This makes it that much more fun. Like, you can't tell me that you'd rather play Sunset Riders alone than with somebody. Same thing with Ninja Turtles 4. You know? Right. Oh, I mean, Turtles 4 is... That's a lock. Yeah, man. That's a cowabunga. That's a hard cowabunga. But that's that's my honorable mention. Anything Konami, all Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo Konami co-op games. All Super Nintendo co-op Konami games. Well, if you're gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat. Oh, okay. okay I have two. Okay. Honorable mentions, because one popped into my head right when we hit record, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Well, I got to hear that I'm one gonna, first. <laughs> am I gonna pick? So, it is a Steam game called Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. So it is, you are in a like round. Oh my god, Spaceship. I played this at fucking Analog Brewing. Dude. You, 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 it's like somebody. So you have two gunners. Yeah. You have a. Uh, you have somebody working the shield at all times, yeah. and they have to run around the ship to like go to the spot where all the all the enemies are so that they can keep the shield moving at all times around the ship. You have the two guys, there's four guns on the ship, but you have you can only man two of them at the same time. Yeah. And then one guy just controls the ship through like I don't know caves or something like it's because there's walls and shit you can't touch yeah it's ridiculously addictive it is so addictive it is like stupid addictive I was yeah. a gunner for like three hours straight I can't I <laughs> like we waited so far in that but I don't know if the game ever ends I don't think it does I, I think mean that just was smart going. That's, that's a smart move yeah let's keep but that, I never got to play the going. shield I never got to you know yeah just, fuck what a fun game man yeah my actual honorable mention that I wrote down is, and I'm blessed, because not, apparently nobody actually, there's a lot of people in the world that never got to, because uh, there was a two-player version, there's a four-player version, and then there's a six-player version. And the six-player version, apparently not too many people saw in the wild. It is X-Men Arcade. Oh. And the two, the six-player version is I've never two screens it. wide. What the fuck? And, and dude, it's so fun. And like, what was that uh, typo? Beating that all Magneto the Sentinels set? and shit. Oh, I don't remember. But yeah, that's a great fucking arcade. Oh, game. dude. And the graphics are great too, for like such an awesome arcade game that came out. That was what, like ninety six? Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety two. Fuck. I know, right? Dude, that's a great game for the I early nineties. So, number five. Yeah, on my here. list. Which also, we should reach out to that Matthew guy, Short Circuit. Okay. Uh, see if he has an X Men. That guy has a pretty crazy collection, okay. man. If he has an X Men. You mean the guy that works out for uh, the guy Arcadium? that uh, one of the owners of Arcadium? Yeah. Okay. His home arcade is even bigger. Like the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Short, never been. short Circuit I only heard Arcade. Stories. I've heard stories. That's it. And he has invited me, and I I couldn't make it that day. And, he drunkenly texted me all night going, you're missing out on this. You're missing out on this. Including my favorite arcade game of all time, 720. Uh, my, box. my number five, I'm uh, sorry, Tom, I couldn't I couldn't decide. Okay. So you pick heads or tails. Tails. Tails is going to be Super Buster Brothers. That's a good one. Is You have these big balls bouncing around the screen. And then you have these like grappling hooks that you shoot vertically straight up, and I've they never hit, heard of this it game. hits the ball and it splits the ball into two half size, right? And then you have to get rid of those. And 
it doesn't have to be the hook of the grappling hook, it can be the rope. So if the ball runs into the rope, then it splits it too, and it's so addicting. I've never so heard of addicting. It ever. Well, I thought okay, maybe but like bust a move or something. I highly recommend playing this game. Okay. It's no, it's it's not like that. It's like uh, you get like a single static level where it might be like kind of like Mario Brothers, where you have like different platforms. Okay. Uh, but you can't jump or nothing. You just run around the screen on the bottom, and you just chuck these ropes up, and it has to hit the balls and like split the balls in two until eventually they get to the smallest size, and then they stop splitting. And the point of the game is to clear the screen of all the balls. Okay. It's so fun. Get the balls off the screen. So simple, so fun. My number five is Army of Two for uh, for Xbox. Uh, just really, really good co-op game where you actually, you actually need like a second player in this game. You can't yeah. pull off most of what you need to pull off in a fashionable time unless right. you had a helping hand. But it's very Gears of War. Like, uh, it's very much like... You get to a section where you need someone to boost you up or open a door and right. shit. And just, uh, like, when you go back to back and you, you do the tandem, like, shooting of people, it's always very cool. And, uh, like, yeah. double snipe people at the same time. Like, three, two, one, get the guy on the right. Oh, yeah. Those are fun, man. You know? Yeah, no so, kidding. So, our Army of Two is uh, my, my number five. Uh, I'm just going to throw a quick disclaimer out there. It Takes Two is not on my list. <laughs> yes, it should be. <sighs> Sorry, fuck. Yeah. What do you want from me? Yeah, it's not a good thing. Leave a leave a shitty comment, just like normal. That's <laughs> that's how it's done. <laughs> uh, you're number four. Very much like Army of Two. This time around, it's Kane and Lynch. Kane and Lynch. Just yep. a very good two series of games on the Xbox. With bring a third one back here, like uh, you know what? Let's let's pour one out for the brothers. Then. Ah, Kane yes. And Lynch. Kane and oh, Lynch, yeah. uh, it's a two. It's it's what really started the heist games. Is Kane and Lynch? It's very heat. It's very like before payday oh, was yeah. around and whatnot, you know. And, yeah. Uh, just and honestly, like, it was that Xbox environment that yeah that uh, harvested that right. Like yeah, the, it wouldn't have Xbox happened without it. Xbox. It, it's true. It mm-hmm. was strictly Xbox. Xbox were making oh, those good. co-op games come out. That's good. Snake Lake. Snake Lake. Unofficial sponsor to Snake Lake today. Uh, Snake Lake and Polyrhythm. Shoot out both of them because it's a collab. So, yeah, that's. Uh, there's not really much else to say. It's like. No, Kane, no I get Kane, that. Kane and Lynch. I get check it. Check it out. It's just an awesome co op game. Yep. Uh, I can't believe this is so high on my list, but my yeah, number four is uh, Secret of Mana for that Super Nintendo. That is a really good co op game. Three players. It's three player co op. Yeah. It is. Anybody that hasn't seen it. And and for as an RPG out of all things, like a action RPG. RPG. Uh, it, Has there ever it, been any other three-player RPG game since? El- Zelda, Zelda. Hello. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, Link to the Past is legendary, but no, yeah. Secret of Mana is. It will always hold a spot in my heart. How good it was. Uh, yes, the Trials of Mana is better, but we didn't get it back then, so tough. But I think Secret of Mana with having eight different weapon styles and you can choose any weapon you want to play. You can play as the girl, like the little sprite, the girl with the healing magic or the boy, which they all have names, but we don't, don't care about that. Here. Like Randy is the boy. So <laughs> Randall. So I always used to call the sprite seven up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the, the, I always almost always played as the boy because I was like the melee guy. I, yeah. I always loved running around and beating the so shit out of things. So was it with. like a, uh male dominance thing no okay no because i thought the attack magic was like just overpowered and it just broke the game yeah so i liked running around and fighting anyway didn't matter because if you tried grinding anything up you had to switch which by the way you just hit select and you swapped your character you jumped over to the girl or you jumped over to the sprite and if you had two players you could constantly switch back and forth or just hit the X button and bring up the non-player character's menu. And you kind of had like mild control over him anyway. So it was almost like two and a half player. Like it, it was a cool game, man. Super cool game. Yeah, well, that's because Neat it story. Really cool game. Uh, beautiful game for its time. Yeah. I just, it deserves to be on the list. Yeah, it's a fucking fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Uh, my number three. Yeah. 
might be a uh, obscure an oddball but it 100 percent deserves to be on a co-op list okay. it's ps2 uh it would have been 2004 uh snowblind studios i don't know if that's going to narrow it down at all for you no nope. it's called champions of norath i've never heard of it so explain to me this game. it used there you remember baldur's gate dark alliance yes it uses that engine okay so it's a pretty top-down game like isometric isometric yeah, you, yeah. Uh, but it's a PS2 game not PC okay uh, you could actually play this with up to four players I never did it, it would have blown my fucking mind so if I played it so it's an RPG it is okay. it is a Baldur's-ish RPG RPG but on a controller so you walk your character around instead of you know pointing and clicking and you you know I always played as like the sorcerer so I was like flung blizzard from my fucking fingertips <laughs> you know uh but oh what a game man but i, I had no idea it was four player because it was just me and my buddy scott that yeah. played it uh but you could like pick your race and your skill set right at the beginning uh kind of Baldur's gate-ish like D style it's just it was so cool and then it had like an ability tree that you could open up as you went yeah but the coolest thing which we come from simpler times, people. I'm I'm mid forties. I'm I'm getting there. I'm. Uh, I, I started on Atari. Yeah. Shit was simple back yeah. then. Yeah, to use uh, your imagination back in the day. The bodies that hit the floor in this game stayed there forever. So as you like left and then came back to an earlier area, all the bodies of the mass destruction you left behind was still there. Would Would they decay at all? No. Just, <laughs> like <laughs> that would have been cool, but. Yeah. I, I mean, hey, it was only PS2. It wasn't PS3 yeah. yet. But the, but yeah, that all the body count that you had, like if you massacred hundreds in a cave, they were still there when you went back. Like it's so cool. Like, how simple were we? <laughs> Did that right, impress well, the you shit know, out of me. It's like, the easy things that keep you coming back for these types like of games. Like small little things, yeah. Like it's uh, like I'm surprised none of us said Gauntlet for for any co-op games. Hey, we are now. Yeah, well, Gauntlet was a great game. Gauntlet. Are, are we talking about 64 or the original Ga 2? No, I'm talking like Gauntlet. Gauntlet, Gauntlet 2 is at Arcadium. Uh, it is. Honestly, it deserves I'm to be. I'm planning on trying to beat that next time. It deserves to be mentioned because, well, it's free play. How can we not? Yeah, Arcadium we just is need a great time. place to go to. But no, it's... A lot of these games owe it to Gauntlet. Yeah. It was like one of the first. One of the first four-player games. Yes. That came out in like the early 80s. No kidding. That's, that's yeah. saying Holy a lot. Man. That's saying a lot. We're old. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, you're number three, sir. My number three is Vegas 1 and Vegas 2. Rainbow Six Vegas. Oh. Yeah. And uh, whether you wanted to do, like, uh, the campaign mode uh, with your friend or you just wanted to do, like, the terrorist hunt uh, uh, levels, like my favorite, Villa, uh, on the hardest difficulty ever, um, you definitely want to someone to be there with you because uh, Rainbow Six created these terrorist hunt levels in a manner in a way that you can look to your left but then you better have eyes on the back of your head because people could come right up behind you yep. which you needed a co-op uh, friend to play with Always to have, have your, your six. six because you'd be you wouldn't last very long in this game yep. and uh, I still play this game to this day I am ranked major I don't know how many people played this game but that is like one of the, I think, last two rankings you can get. And yeah. when you get to major ranking, it takes forever for that little score bar to, to get move, to the end. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could kill <laughs> hundreds of people and it'll be a little blip. And I'm fine with that because that tells me that I've had a lot of fun over the past decade playing these two games with a lot of friends. And uh, we still play them to this day just because... Like like Lauren just mentioned, you always need someone checking your six on this. And uh, if it wasn't for games like this, I don't think lots of shooters would have been as perfect as they are now because of... Like, I'm not just... I just don't mean from the shooting aspect or the turning around and, like, aiming. I just mean by the level design as well. The level design in these two games really pushed, pushed the envelope as far as it could be pushed. Yeah. And I mean, I re like I remember uh, like OG Rainbow Six. Yeah. And like, 
sniping in that was oh, so satisfying. So I satisfying. can't imagine co-op. It is out of this world, man. Vegas 1 and Vegas 2. If you guys have never played... Like, if you guys have played some Rainbow Six games, but you never played Vegas 1 or 2, I highly suggest it because it's a very vastly different style of game. It's very out there. Yeah. Do you want to know what my number two is? Yes. Double Dragon 2 for original Nintendo. Okay. And, and you know why. So they fixed their fuck up. They finally fixed having a second player in the goddamn game. Oh, my God. Because when, when you rented how the, the first one, how do you forget that shit, man? How the... Fuck! But the Do thing you is, not have two players in that? The thing is, the first one did have two players. You would only fight against one another. It was bullshit is what it, it was. It was like a Street Fighter, but on Nintendo with two buttons. So it doesn't work, you know? I don't care. There's no good fighting game for original Nintendo. It's it, That did not come out until there was a three-button Genesis or a four-button... What about Nintendo. Tournament Fighters? I don't know. That's still pushing it, man. Uh, okay. Du anyway, Double Dragon 2, they finally added a second player uh, campaign mode, let's call it, story mode, and uh, you, you needed that second player in this game. Actually, you know what? Nintendo did have a good fighting game. It was just a wrestling game. <laughs> Tecmo World Wrestling? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's my number two. My number two is a cop-out, and I don't care. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I have three nephews. It, so let's precursor this. Some of the most fun I've ever had is playing. I'm gonna wait till you stop drinking. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh my god! Why? Fuck was it fun, man? So hear me out. They had for a little while. They had a limited Fortnite. Like, and don't get me wrong. Isn't that a free to play? Yeah. Okay. Don't you play a free to play war game right now? That's none of your business, Lauren. It's everybody's business now. Yes, I play War Thunder. And it's fun? It's very fun. It's very fun. Free-to-plays are not always shit. No, they're not always shit. Okay, you put and me in my place. I'm not going to say that Fortnite is, like, the greatest battle royale or anything like that, right? Tetris 99 is. But <laughs> the uh, it was really fun when you're playing with your nephews. And they're, like, my one nephew is just a psycho. Like, in, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, he got, in a three-game span, he got two nukes. Jesus. Which is a 25 kill streak. Holy shit. He's psycho. And the middle nephew, he's a huge CSGO guy. Like he, they constantly okay. play in league and yeah. uh, he's very good. My youngest nephew might honestly be the best gamer of the bunch. Because uh, any kind of Soulsborne style game, like FromSoft games. So Dark Souls, yeah. uh, Elden Ring, Bloodborne. He is very good at them very proficient like he did not struggle with uh melania or uh melania the the crazy one from uh, elden ring yeah. he didn't struggle at all and yet they can carry their poor ass uncle in Fortnite, <laughs> where i'm sitting there like aiming at my feet trying yeah, to figure out the fucking controls i i mean i suck i yeah. suck at shooters especially like i'm not competitive on mouse and keyboard, like I love Half Life 2, I love, you know, maybe one of the most classic shooters of all time. But I'm not great. Yeah. I'm not great at all. But I, it's some of the most fun I've ever had, them carrying the shit out of me and, you know, picking up my dead card and yeah. taking it to the reboot yeah. van and shit like that. Here you go. But the most fun, they had for a limited time, they had a, a 50 versus 50, where instead of it being one bus that 100 people jump out of and then you all kill each other until there's one left or like four left or whatever it was two buses that go opposite directions over the map and 50 people jump out of one and 50 jump out of the other and you're all one team and my one nephew was like you know it'd be really fun if we played 50 v 50 but jumped out of the bus immediately and flew as far as we can into enemy territory landed before they got there stole all the loot and then just camped and waited till for them to land and <laughs> fucking pick them up and then run in from behind and kill them all from behind. And uh, We laughed our asses off for like three hours straight that night doing it over and over and over. It was so fun. And I mean, that would be fun. isn't that the whole point of like yeah. co-op is having Fuck fun? Yeah. Some of the most fun I've ever had gaming was 50 v 50 with my nephews playing Fortnite. 
All right, I, 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 I can, I can see how the fun would be there. Oh yeah, That's great cool, time. Man. Cool. My number one. Okay, mm. number one co-op game. So, I think I'm gonna call a shotgun. Oh God. I'm gonna pre-call a shotgun here. No. <laughs> I'm just hoping that you didn't be a lazy fuck and pick an entire genre. <laughs> uh... Because if you went specific, then there's a chance we didn't pick the same game. I chose a Konami game <laughs> from the Nintendo. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Where you run around in Jeeps. Jesus Christ, you're talking about Jackal. It's Jackal, baby. Yeah, I got that on my fucking list. <sighs> Should we do it now? No. Okay. No. Let me Let me get this out. Okay. Is an eight-way overhead. So what that means is it's it's overhead camera, eight-way control. You can move in diagonals and and up and down, left, right, the cardinals. Uh, your shot, like your your gun, it's reflective of where your jeep is aimed, pointing at. Your gun always goes north. Yeah. Your missiles go wherever your jeep is pointed. Yeah. So you can constantly shoot north as you're sweeping left and right, Just which is very smart. Which is very cool, and then you can like point the jeep up very quickly and shoot a missile and then keep moving to the right kind of yeah. uh it's pretty tight control for yeah, very uh, ind indicative of a still, konami nintendo still game still a game i have not beaten to this day yeah we need to fix that yeah we do need to because my that. nephew and i beat it no continuing that is fucking uh, i can't fathom that's impossible to me oh no it's oh no we'll get there okay we'll do it uh so one thing that kind of gets ignored <laughs> in the casual gaming of this game is the pals the prisoners of war yeah so you can't you, ignore them you can you can bomb particular buildings and then these it's always a green building i think right yeah it is and then uh these pals come out and you can pick up all the pals Brr. and the whole point is to get them to it's approximately halfway through the level there's a helicopter to rescue the pals yeah out. there's a landing pad that yeah. you pull your jeep up on and you gotta kill everything around it so Here's the co-op part. The one guy who's got like four POWs, he needs to get onto the landing pad and then sit there while all the pals get out. The other guy needs to watch his six because yeah. there's fucking other jeeps and there's helicopters and there's shit. Tanks. All trying to kill you at the same time. And little dudes with... Uh, little I'm sorry. Shooters, little dudes but... with a pea shooter can take out a jeep in one shot. Oh, yeah. Fuck yes, you, they Konami. can. Must be a hell of a shot. Fuck you. But... But you can also run over him, and that's satisfying as yeah, shit. It is. Uh, so you need to watch your watch your bro while he's dropping off all the pals, and then then he does the same for you, and you drop off your pals, and then you continue on. And, and dropping off the pals gives you like a missile upgrade from grenades to missiles to two way missiles to four way missiles. Yeah, man. Dude, the game, man. The music. So memorable. I love the chip tune in that game. God, I love. I that need game. to. I need to think that this game needs to be remade. I don't like know a, if I can agree with it. Like, that. no, but I want like a jackal. Uh, what the hell was the uh, bionic commando rearmed or whatever? Okay, jackal well, they still rearmed. Kept it true. Okay. Like, two, well, still not true to about the, the original. We're talking about the PlayStation Xbox bionic commando. No, not that. Okay. Crazy, like the the bionic commando rearmed or whatever, not okay. the 3D one. Okay. So uh, like the one, or like the, like they the kept Strider it true for Game 2014. Boy like Strider 2014 yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Uh, and it was all 2D, but like 2.5D. Yeah. That's what I want. I want a top overhead jackal just updated. Yeah. Maybe more arsenal. More levels. Yeah. That'd be cool. And and more like, arsenal would be cool too. Yeah. Or you could choose like you could have a jeep. You could have uh, like a small tank. Yeah. Be a little bit slower okay. moving but okay. have like more firepower or something like mm, that. So you can have more variety. Yeah. I think jackal needs to be updated. It's not a bad idea. But I'll keep playing it in the meantime. <laughs> You're number one, my sir. My number one is everything that Ultra and Konami has made as far as co-op games for original Nintendo. So yes, I did cheat for my number one. Boy. I'm talking about like the con the entire Contra it's series. It's hard to... The entire Ninja Turtle series. Super C. Super C, Contra. Even Contra Force. Even Contra Force. Oh, God. No, that's Even the laggiest Contra piece Force. of shit. <laughs> uh, T Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 What was it called in, a, in Europe again? Probotector or something like that? Probotector, yeah. But uh, Ninja Turtles 2 and 3, really fucking good co-op games. Okay. 
right now on the record. Konami. What the fuck? So you make Turtles and then bring it on Super Nintendo Turtles in Time, yeah. which is TMNT 4. 4, yeah. Why didn't 3 get an arcade? Re- it's the best one. I don't know why. That's it's really good. It's the best one. Th- there's a perfect example Manhattan of, Project, how, right? like, of how much better Ninja Turtles 3 on Nintendo was than Ninja Turtles even 2 for then, arcade. Oh, dude. And that's saying a lot. It because was I like so Ninja good. Turtles 2. But 3, to me, is the superior title. They, You can tell that they, they leaned in hard and they were like, Hey, well, if we're going to make this game for Nintendo, we're going to fucking hit it out of the park. Yeah. It is so much better than the arcade game. It really is. And there's Manhattan more Project. levels. It's so good. There's just more of everything in this game. Yeah, you know, you're not wrong there. But uh, also uh, <coughs> Jackal, Jackal as well, <laughs> which we just touched base. But also one that a lot of people don't tend to think a lot about. Which uh, technically is in co-op, but you are versus. I'm talking about Blades of Steel. I. Yeah. Blades of Steel is a technically good friendship game where you're going to be playing against somebody uh, at hockey <laughs> friendship. On, your, on your Nintendo, and you might hate each other for a bit. But after no, that, I'm like, drawing the line there. That that one don't count. No. Oh. There's not co-op. Nope. Well. You lose. But hey, you had my number one like, Ultra Konami games. You had five games. You don't need a six. <laughs> so that was our co-op uh, list. Tell us what you think. Is there some co-op games that we totally just missed a bucket on and we need to be put in our places? We know there are. We know we miss some. Let us know which ones. Shit all over us. We got it. We can handle it. Yeah, we can wipe But hey, you off. can't deny this isn't a great list. Yeah, this is a great list. Yeah. And I'll see you next time, Lauren. Bye. Bye. Bye.